Hey, Stephanie. I'll take it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> take it away. I'll, I'll mention this is going to be my first Buck Days, too. And I have been to a rodeo before, first time in Texas. They have them in Florida. but You're I'm, in for a treat. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Uh, speaking of good things to talk about in the future, it's the second half of this forecast. Later on this week, we're in store for some nice weather. It comes at a cost. We're going to break all that down here in a moment. But taking a look outside here over downtown, you can see in this camera in the background some fog. But the report at the airport is now picking up on some very light rain out there. Temperature 67 degrees definitely feels like it with that humidity at 100%. That comes thanks to those south southeast winds. I don't like this morning at 8 miles per hour, but that's coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. So that dry air from the weekend's cold front. Yep. Already not the influence getting that moisture in from the good old Gulf of Mexico and it's keeping our temperatures mild this morning. Most places in the middle to upper 60s and yes, this is everyone. I know yesterday our friends out to the west were experiencing much different weather than the coastline, but today we've come back in unity. Temperatures mild this morning and a bit muggy too. our dew point temperatures almost identical to the actual air temperature. So we know that that means uh, conditions for fog and it just feels so icky out there this morning, but that'll get better as we go on throughout the day. What will get better as well is the fog. We have a dense fog advisory in effect until 11 a.m. because uh, it's kind of tough out on the roadways there in Ingleside, a half mile of visibility there here. Uh, the same case in Corpus Christi. And as you're heading out, three miles of visibility in Alice, uh, just over a mile in Orange Grove. So be careful as you're heading out on the roadways. Give yourself some extra time uh, because this is patchy in nature, but very dense can come up on you quickly there. Checking in with Beeville. Don't see much for fog here. Pretty nice morning with light winds. Temperatures 68 degrees with that wind from the southeast around six miles per hour to start you off this morning. And as far as the Doppler radar goes, not seeing much for rain. Just a couple of light drizzly showers in places. Uh, our next best chance of rain across our area will be tomorrow. We could see a few stray showers pop into the picture tonight, but really uh, we're waiting on another front to come through on Wednesday, and that'll be our final opportunity for rain this week. Winds coming in off the Gulf of Mexico, as I mentioned, not too brisk this morning, but we'll see those winds pick up into the afternoon. A breezy Tuesday in store for many folks here, and generally continuing that flow off the Gulf of Mexico is going to keep things warm for this afternoon and somewhat humid as well. Heading into your Wednesday, we'll see this fog not be a problem anymore because as the front moves through drier air behind it but until then uh, we've got a dense fog advisory in effect till 11 a.m now a fire weather watch has been issued for the western part of the rio grande valley in south texas that's what we can expect once that front moves through on wednesday because it's just going to dry things out and you've heard us reporting on those fires and how dry the conditions have been because of the dry foliage so that's what's in store with us we'll have very nice weather but also an increased risk a fire danger as we head on through the end of the week into the weekend. If you're heading out on the waters today, not too bad. UV index is five, so it's moderate, but rip currents shouldn't be an issue out there. And as we look at the next seven days, here's that front coming through tomorrow. Could hear a rumble of thunder, plenty of sunshine Thursday, all the way into the beginning of next week. It's going to be beautiful out there, guys. All right, Stephanie, thank you for that.